Are you set? He is Lord. Praise his name. Praise his name. Let my knee bow before your Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Lord. Bring me back, Jesus. Bring me back, Lord. Bring me back, Jesus. Me back, Jesus. Me back, Jesus. Yes. You're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, Lord. God, you're worthy. You're worthy, Lord.
He knows all our cares. He knows all our sorrows. But it's a while I plead each precious promise. We are asking God in his mercies to hear and answer our prayer. We're going to stand and pray right now. We want to have a perfect, we want God perfect consecration. Perfect consecration. In the olden days, the Bible said that they had to set a lava. So whenever Aaron and his sons get near to the tabernacle, they had to wash. So if, if I'm not washed and clean in the God's sight, then my sacrifice will be unacceptable. It doesn't matter how much I know the word of God. It doesn't matter how long I've been in church. If, I, if I, my sacrifice is not acceptable to God, then my presence here is in vain. Glory! And that's, that's all of us. So I said, I'm praying, blessed Savior, for this perfect consecration that shall make us more like God. So we, all of us are going to pray right now that God will consecrate us, that God will lead, that God will direct, and the Holy Ghost will fall in our midst in Jesus' name. We're going to pray right now. Enough place, me. All the hotel them have seen and it big, big gone. And they have river and they have some sea all around. And me say, God, where the water come from? And so much enough water. And you're not drowned, Jamaica. I say, God, where that heat come from of St. Thomas boiling? Boiling water, boiling. God, don't, don't make it come up and, and finish up Jamaica, you know. Then when me come in, they must have praise him. Me look it. Me say, I'm clearing down. I just flood out already, Lord. Me say, God, please, don't let no earthquake come in our country here. But all the high building, everything, everybody dead. You ever look into them something there? All who and he crash and say, God, where would come from up there for playing? Mr. Yes, yes, Jesus Christ, and people fight. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. Where do you would come from, brethren? Yes, Think yes, where would come from? Where that ship heavy and it don't move a big gun in here, big, big, and everything in there, and your bed no move. The ship turn and you no no moving there, and the ship got different different port. You know have things to thank God for. Yes. Why did God no make we walk like the others? Improvise care and boss and train. We have to thank Him. Yes. If you not remember, let me remind you. Everybody ought to thank. Him. If you don't remember, remember the breath you blow, and thank Him. You could don't burn, some don't burn. You understand? But why did God let us burn? Why did he provide a church? 
and they call it different from a factory is not a house and bring us together why did he put his spirit in us why make me half he said this no ask him we never come in here for this no but god bring you in here for this that's why so we're gonna sing it again without the music and rev we're gonna reverent him for our breath, for mercy, for thanking him, for providing, for giving us a sound mind, for bringing us again in his house, for overcoming power, for healing in our body, for keeping secret. Not sure we up. Not true, brother. For strength. Amen. That we know outside, cover us and put us in here. Put us in a good place. We are to thank him. Give us home, children, parents, job, yeah. Lord God Almighty. Don't look on everybody to thank him. Thank him for yourself. Don't look around, just thank him because what happened to you could murder somebody. But God changed you. Although all the other days are not gone yet, but you're working on it. So am I. And thank him that you're working on it. You're not the same anymore. You're working on it. Praise God. It's not an overnight thing. You work on it. He's Lord. We're going to sing it again. God Almighty is Lord. And who to cry will cry. Who to shout, will shout. Amen. Yes, Lord. If you want to find out, brethren, don't play no music and you will find out. If real, serious. Yes, yes, you don't play no music and say, if you any hallelujah. Yes, yes, we don't need no music for tease we are. May you come with music. Yes, hey! Yes, Praise. Yes, I, hey! 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 Yes! We have news. Yes. In my home. Yes. All last week and the week before. Music in my heart. Yes. We're going to sing God Almighty. Yes. Telling us Jesus Christ is the same Lord. Yes. God is telling us that God is Lord. Yes. And Lord is Jesus Christ. Yes. One God. So anybody don't know that is him, the God Almighty, is Lord. He's telling us now he is Lord. He is risen from the Lord, risen from the dead. Live forever, and he's coming back again. I'm going to go back home to give it back to Brother Howard, but we're going to sing it without the music. I'm going to reverend God and thank him for us. He is Lord. God is Lord. God, bring us here. God, have mercy on us. God, put his love in our heart. It's you, Lord. It's you. It's you. Somebody started it. He's Lord. Sing it again. He's Lord. Yes, he is. We have to give him praise. Yes, he has. Thank you, Chief. Every knee. Yes, Lord. Help me, Lord. 
bring me back to Jesus. Bring me back, Lord. Bring me back, Jesus. Yes. You're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, Lord. God, you're worthy. You're worthy, Lord. Praise God. And you is God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That you are Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Father, we worship, we adore you. The Almighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Change my life, Lord. Take my mind. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Let you use Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Glory. Jesus. He is Lord. He is Lord. Songs that even death could not hold him captive. He is the Almighty God. Glory. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is Lord. He is the great I am. He's everlasting Father. Amen. He's the Prince of Peace. Amen. He is Lord. Death could not destroy him. Amen. The grave could not hold him. Amen. He is Lord. Pharaoh, Herod could not destroy him. He is Lord. The Pharisees could not destroy him. Amen. He is Lord. The scribes could not destroy him. Amen. He is Lord. Glory. He has risen from the dead triumphantly and he lives forever with the saints to reign he is Lord he is the almighty God he is the king of kings he is the boss he is Lord Jesus the son of David he is Lord he is Lord yes every knee every knee every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord he is Lord in our lives today we come to glorify the name of the Lord glory he is Lord yes thank you Jesus hey, thank you Jesus he is Lord of every situation beautiful for every situation he is lord he is the almighty god glory glory he is lord he rose triumphantly he is lord praise his name praise his name praise the name of the lord jesus he is lord lose the spirit of worship he is lord jesus Every knee shall bow. 
William from Kingston or Clarendon. He is Lord. Every knee shall bow. Jesus Christ is Lord. William from Hackney or Birmingham. He is Lord. Jesus. 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 He is Lord. Exalt the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 Jesus. Glory, glory. Glory to God. Every knee shall bow. Glory. Yes, he is Lord. Jesus. Jesus. Glory. He is Lord. Every knee shall bow. The sons that you get a revival in your soul. I must apply to the blood of Jesus. We must get a revival today. Must apply to the blood of Jesus. He is Lord. He is Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. He is the Almighty. He is the great Lord of all. He is Lord of all. Jesus. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the Living God. He said, Who do you say I am? Some say you're Elias. Some say you're John the Baptist. But Peter said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the Living God. He is Lord. He is Lord. Glory. Yes, He is Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He is Lord. And every knee shall bow. Thank you, Jesus. Who's the spirit of worship? That God be exalted in this place. Every knee shall bow. Every knee shall bow. From the sixth hour to the ninth hour, there was darkness upon the land. It was for you and I. He is Lord. He is Lord. He said, destroy this temple. And in three days, I raise it up again. He is Lord. He is Lord. He is Almighty. Glory. He is Lord. Every knee, every tongue. He is Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. We come to glorify God name of Jesus Christ he said I shall be anointed with fresh oil yes yes fresh touch of fire name of Jesus Christ let's feel the power of God fresh touch of fire in our souls name of Jesus Christ to burn up every trace of sin Jesus Jesus blessed Jesus hear us now name of Jesus Christ yes 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 he is the Lord he is Lord Jesus Yes, said so I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Yes, a fresh such a fire in our soul. By the way, there's no wood, the fire going out. But today we're going to make sure the fire burn in our hearts. Make sure the fire burn in our hearts. Because he is Lord. He is risen from the dead. And he is Lord. Glory. Yes, he is Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He is Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lose the spirit of worship. Yes. Name of Jesus Christ. Some say, Oh, Satan said, My Lord was gone. I would not hear our prayer. But it's a lie from the pit of hell. But praise the Lord, the work is done. And Christ the Lord is here. And I will not be denied. Name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Say, even the crumbs, Lord. Say, even the crumbs, Lord. Even the crumbs, Lord. Jesus. I will not be denied. Thank you, Jesus. He is Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes. He is highly exalted. He is highly exalted. Yes, he is Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Cry out and shout, the Bible said. Cry out and shout, the Bible said. Yes, for great is the Holy One in the midst of us. Yes, He is here. The Lord is here. He said, we have a two or three together together. Touching anything concerning His name. He is here. Thank you, Jesus. He is Lord. He is Almighty. Glory! Yes! Jesus! Every knee shall bow. And every tongue must confess that Jesus, the Almighty God, rose triumphantly from the dead and that He is Lord. Yes, 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 yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. How much time sin has been trapped for us? How much time so much things go against us that we shall be dead long time ago? But the mercy of God says no. And that's why we are alive today. That's why we are alive today. The mercy of Almighty God. He is Lord. He is the Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Holy Ghost and fire. He is Lord. He is the great I am. He is the Alpha. Yes, the Omega. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The garments of praise, the Bible said. The garments of praise. With the fruit of our lips. The Bible said, take with your words and turn to the Lord. With the fruit of our lips. We glorify the name of the Almighty God. Because He is Lord in our lives. He is Lord in our lives. He is the King of Kings. Thank you, Jesus. Let the flowers plod up on my back. They may long their furrows. But the Lord is righteous. He hath cut asunder the cause of the wicked. That's why we're here today. Because he is Lord. Many times from my youth they have afflicted me. Many times from our youth we have been afflicted. But thank God we are alive today. We could have been dead a long time ago. Thank God we are alive today. Yes, the flowers, they plod upon our backs. Yes, they may long there for us. But thanks be to God. He has not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken. Glory! And we are escaped. Because our help is in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, who made heaven and earth. Our help. So I said, I will lift my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help coming from the Lord. Who made heaven and earth? He is Lord. He is Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. He is Lord. Yes. Revive us again. Let the Holy Ghost move in our midst. Let the Holy Ghost move in their heart. The Holy Ghost touch every mind. Glory. Yes. Let the Holy Ghost on fire. They were guiding light today. Thank you, Jesus. We give God thanks. Thank God for his mercies. Thank God. He said, if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side. If it had not been for the Lord who was on our side. We would have been dead a long time ago. They would have shot us a long time ago. We would have been stabbed a long time ago. If it had not been for the Lord who was on our side. We thank God. There's so much to give God thanks for. Thank Him for life. Thank Him for salvation. Thank Him. That He surrendered us. He delivered us from the hand of the enemy. And He is Lord. Lord. 
He is Lord. It's behold, he that keepeth Israel, he will not slumber nor sleep. And we can sing with assurance that yes, we are overshadowed by his boundless love. And we have a 24 hour protection from the Lord above. So the Lord which keepeth us, he will not slumber nor sleep. Sometimes in our sleep, some demons come to attack us. Some demons come to fight us. Some demons come to stop our breath. But mercy says no. And thank God the Bible said, as the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people from henceforth and forever. So he said, he will not suffer our foot to be moved. We thank God for those who are worshiping with us for the very first time. If you're here for the very first time, could you please stand so we can acknowledge your presence. Bless you, bless you, bless you, my sister. Bless you. Bless you, bless you. God welcome, bless you, God welcome, bless you. Welcome, welcome. God bless you. A very hearty, hearty welcome to you. And I pray and trust that you'll be blessed by the Almighty God today. Thank you for coming. You could have gone to another church, but thank you for coming to worship with us. Amen. Because God is such a good God. Amen. Also, we have, we have our brother and sister Green from Birmingham. Could you please stand to? Brother and sister. Bless them, bless them, bless them. And also, Andrew, we have Andrew in our midst. Brother. Andrew, brother Andrew. Bless. Okay. Brother. It's outside. Okay, bless, bless. God bless you all and God bless you. Thank you for coming. And I pray and trust that you'll be blessed today. We're going to have a song from the choir in Jesus' name. A song from the choir in Jesus' name. He is Lord. Yes. In the spirit of worship. Bless them. Bless In the spirit of worship. God is our refuge and strength. Bless A very present help in time of trouble. He is Lord. He is Lord. Lose the spirit of worship. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, he is highly exalted. Jesus is here. Praise. The Lord is here. Yes. Bless and he must be exalted from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. Bless the name of the Lord is worthy to be praised. Yes, his name shall be praised. Yes. Yes. Jesus, the son of David, we shall be anointed with fresh oil, holy ghost and fire. Yes. Yes, Holy Ghost and fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, yes, yes. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Bless the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Bless the name amen, of amen, Jesus. Amen. 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 the name yeah. of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, he's a good God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, he's mighty. Yeah. Yes, he's worthy. Yeah. He's God Almighty by yeah. himself. And we are here to lift him up. The name Praise Jesus. the name of Jesus. Yeah. We are here to thank God. In we the name thank of you. Jesus. We are here to say, God, we adore you. Yes. We are here to say, thank you. Yes, yes he's God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise him. Praise him. Hallelujah. Praise him. Hallelujah. Praise him. Hallelujah. Praise him. Hallelujah. Praise him. Yeah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise him. Hallelujah. Oh, God, oh, yes. God, oh, yes. God. Yes. It's not about us today. Jesus. It's about the Almighty God. Yes, it's about the King of Kings. Yes, it's about the Lord of Lords. Yes, it's all about Jesus. 
Oh yes. Oh glory to God. Yes. We are nothing before him. Oh, we come to say we adore you, Jesus. We come to say, God, we should have been dead. But you say live. When we pollute and in our own blood. Yes. He stopped by and said, Live my child. And that's why we are here to lift him up. Praise God. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Jesus. Praise him. Yes. Praise him. Yes, Jesus. Yes. Yes, we are to lift him up. Yes. We are taught of ourselves and to give God glory. Yes, but get what we're going through and give God thanks. Amen. That's what we're here for. Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise confuse the enemy. Yes. Praise him. Amen. Praise confuse Satan. Praise God. Yes. Confuse Satan. Confuse the enemy in the name of Jesus. Confuse him, Jesus. Praise God and confuse him. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. The choir. We're going to sing, guess who passed this way? Hallelujah. And he showed us with his love. Amen. Yes, he changed our life. Amen. And he made it brand new. Amen. Praise him. Yes, Praise him. Yes, he did. God yes, Almighty did. Yes, he did. Yes. We are not the same. Amen. Yes. We're yes, not what we're supposed to be. Yes, but we are not what we used to be. Amen. Praise him. So we're going to give him thanks. In Jesus' name. Guess who passed this way? Guess who it was? Yes, who? Yes, who? I saw the day and he shall.
Jesus. Jesus, touch me one day. Thank God for the night when he touched me. And he filled me with the Holy Ghost. Thank God for the touch. Thank God for the anointing power. Thank God for the Holy Ghost fire. And touch me one Tuesday night. And thank God for the blood that you shed for me. You know what the Bible says that? The Bible says that uh, Jesus went to a marriage in Cana of Galilee and performed a miracle. And after a while, Jesus was on his way to, to Galilee. And the Bible said that so he was leaving from Judea to go to Galilee. But the Bible said that he had a need to go through Samaria. Yes. And he met the woman at the well, the Bible says. And the, the Bible said that Jesus said to him and said, give me to drink. And they, when he said to him and says, then the woman said, how come you're a Jew and, you know, I'm a Samaritan because they have no dealings. But Jesus said to him, if you know the gift of God, yeah. and who he is that said to you, give me to drink, yeah. he said, you'd have asked of him and he would give you that living water. Yeah. So I'm saying today, you can get this living water today. Yeah. And the reality is the woman was going to well for so many years and brought her water pot with her. But with all of that, it still didn't stop her from sinning. It didn't change her life. But Jesus said to her that with all you going to the well and coming back and forth, in my words, you're still going to be thirsty. Because the life that she was living was not a good life. So Jesus said to her, this water that I'm going to give to you, when you take a drink of this living water, you'll never thirst again. So today, you don't have to thirst anymore. Because the living water is Jesus Christ. And when you take a drink of this living water, your life will be changed. Your life will no longer be the same. Because Jesus gives that living water. So I'm saying today, no matter what you're thirsting about, Jesus Christ has got this living water. But the reality is that some people can't be blessed. Because the Bible said that the woman was a, was a worshiper. But Jesus said, that, said to her that before God said, he said to her, go and call your husband. He said, oh, you know, I have no husband. Because he said, so Jesus said, the one you have now is not your husband. He said, you said truly. And he said, I perceive that you're a prophet. So when he said to her, he said, go and call your husband. And the Bible said she went and called everybody who, called all the men. And said, this must be the Christ. And when her life was changed. And, but before she could put, before she could get that blessing, they had to put things in order. Because he said, go and call your husband. And this is why sometimes we can't get our blessing because there's some things that we need to put in order. God is a God of order. So if we, if we don't put in order, we can't get a blessing. The Bible said that when Elijah met the prophets of, uh, of Baal and Carmel, the Bible said Elijah, one of the first things Elijah did, I mean, somebody read it last week. One of the first things that Elijah did, the Bible said he repaired the altar. Yes. We have to repair the altar that's been broken down in our spiritual life. Before we can get God, we have, you know, the Bible said that when Ezra came back from the exile, the first thing Ezra did was to build, rebuild the altar. And the only way that we can be blessed and have peace and sweet rest, we have to repair and rebuild the altar that's been broken down. Our spiritual life has been broken down. We have to repair and rebuild it. So the Bible said, Elijah repaired the altar. And it's, and, and, thanks, Ray. And, and Abraham, the Bible said, thank you, Father. The Bible said, Abraham, when he had his son, and the Bible said he had to put things in order. So everything had to be on the altar of sacrifice. So when I come to God, I come to give God my all, my best of my service. Amen. So the song says, if I long for sweet peace, and for faith to increase, and I'm earnestly, fervently prayed. So I prayed on Monday, I prayed on Tuesday, I prayed on Wednesday, I prayed on Thursday, I fast, I come to church, but I kill the rest. I'll be perfectly blessed until I heal God, my body, and my soul. So I said, he's my all on the altar of sacrifice laid. My heart, not the spirit, control. Yes. 
He said, I can only be blessed and have peace and sweet rest when I yield him my body and my soul. So I'm saying, repairing the altar. Yes, rebuild the altar. Rebuild our prayer life. The Bible says that if you have a leprosy, and the Bible says that if the leprosy spread to one of the, one of the, uh, the brick, I would say. The Bible says that you go and tell the priest, the priest come and see you, and they scrape that brick. The Bible says that they shut on the horse for seven days and come back. So after seven days, the Bible said the priest check the leprosy. The Bible said if it spread to the walls, he scraped it again and shut on the horse for another seven days. But the Bible said when he come back seven days and he spread to the entire house, the Bible said it's a fretting leprosy. And a fretting leprosy is something that's very deep on the inside. And the Bible said the only way to get rid of it you have to pray down the house. And sometimes we come to church, like I said, we say, oh Lord, forgive me for this and forgive me for that. But we have to break down the house that is so infested with leprosy. In our heart, anything that against God in our heart, we have to make sure we break it down before we can get this blessing. So I say, is I, our all on the altar of sacrifice laid? And we can only be blessed. And have peace and sweet rest. We're going to call it today's offering. And we're going to sing aloud the chorus. Everybody ought to love him. Everybody everywhere. Yes. Everybody ought to love him.
Praise the Lord Jesus. Everybody ought to love him. Everybody everywhere. We're going to have a word from Brother Bonds. In Jesus' name. Brother Bonds, in Jesus' name. Bless you. It's coming. It's coming. Everybody ought to love him. Everybody everywhere. He suffered, he bled, and died on Mount Calvary. In the name of Jesus Christ. They said, This deceiver said he will rise on the third day. So they said, Seal the tomb. But they don't realize that he is God. That when they thought it was over, that's what God does with, does with the devil sometimes. The devil sometimes does some things and think that we're finished, yes. think that we are over. Yes. But as I said, we just are come. Yes. We just are come. Yes. Because when the devil thought it was over, up from the grave he rose triumphantly. Yes. Praise the Lord, everybody. Yes. Praise the Lord, everybody. Yes. Stand up, everyone. Okay, sit down. Okay, thank you. You know, on my way this morning, I was driving, and most time I'm, when I'm coming in London, I live in um, High Wycombe. All is go live, so I, I, I do it live coming in. And in the live, I was saying, you know, I was saying, why the flesh always fighting against the spirit, or vice versa, you know? So every day is a fight, guys. I can, f I can truly testify about that. Every day we have a fight. The fight is about the flesh and the spirit. Amen. You know, a lot of us come to church and we come the way and we go home the same way. We don't feel anything. With all this worship, with all this blessing, we don't get anything. A lot of us feel that way. And um, Pastor Douglas greetings everybody, greetings and all the minister. Everything she was saying this morning was really true. You know, um, he is Lord. Yes. The song say he is Lord. He's risen yes. from the dead. Amen. Just a day ago, um, New York experienced an earthquake. Yes. Everybody was shocked. They didn't know what to do. Yes. There was an elderly lady. She said, God have the whole world in his hand. Amen. You know, when the world shake, we, we, we get scared. And most times, that's the time I remember God. We don't remember God when we have good time going on. But remember God when things are not going well. You know, and he said, as she was saying, God have the world in his hand. If the world shake, he's the one shaking it. You know, human beings, we make stuff. We make house, we make cars and all these things. But God have the world in his hand. If you want to shake um, New York City, you will shake it. But the good thing, there was no life um, loss. You know, that's a good thing. Um, Pastor Douglas was even saying about Jamaica. You know, Jamaica is surrounded by the sea. It does take one, one movement of the earth. Jamaica will be no more. You know, there's a part in Jamaica called Portmore, a Port Royal. You know, it was one of the wickedest places on earth back in those days. And it take one shook of God. Part of it is still underwater till this day. We have a lot to give God thanks to God, people. You know, I'm not a, a shouting person. I'm a soft talker. But I'm telling you, we have a lot to give God thanks for. If you come in the house today, and you, you're alive, you're able to walk, you're able to stand. That's why I did ask you to stand first. I asked you to stand and ask you to sit down. That is something to give God thanks for. When you say he is Lord, these are the things you should reflect on. How and why God allow me to wake up this morning in my right mind. How and God allow me to walk, to have strength, to can hear, to can see. These are the questions we should ask God, you know. If, every, if you know, a lot of people have doubts. Some people, they, because they cannot see the movement there, they cannot see God. You know, God give us two sides. The physical one that we can see each other now. But the spiritual sight is the one that most of us are, if not all of us, is lacking. But we don't have it. If we could see the spiritual part, oh God, I don't think we'll be sitting down. Because maybe, maybe, maybe the physical part will get nervous about the God that we are serving. 
Because you don't see the enemy, you cannot see, you cannot see. Because you're looking physically, I can see you, sister. I can touch you. But the spiritual part, you cannot see. You don't see where the angel around us. You don't see what God is taking you out of. You don't see the guidance and the way to work, to school. You know, young people nowadays, they shut up when they come to church. But on the road, they have so much mouth. In the house, they have so much mouth. Everywhere else, you go to the dance. I never go to a dance hall, but, but who go to dance hall, right? This dancing and worshiping, they are ashamed to do it in the house of God. But in the dance, in the party, everybody jump up. They are so happy. But who they are giving the worship to? Yeah? Who they are worshiping? The one that can give them life? No. Not that one. Just to feel good. But they will always remember. You know, just like if you have a toothache, you will call upon God and say, take this pain away from me. Because God is like that. You can feel him. You yes. cannot see him because he's a spirit. The Bible says, who that um, come to God must worship in the spirit and truth. And because of this, we all short-sighted a lot of time. We get discouraged a lot of time. We don't want to go on. Guys, I grew up in church. I got saved from I was 12, baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost. It's not been an easy walk. I'm not perfect. I fall. I get up. You know, and that's the good thing about God. Because if God was like, man, we'd be cut off so much time. So much time. You know, people look at you. And by the eye, sometimes if they could kill you with that eye look, you will be dead in that instant. But if God was like that, I don't know. I wouldn't be here today. For sure, I would be a dead man. You know, but because of the mercy of God. Acts 2 verse 38. Acts 2 verse 38. You know, a lot of things, you guys, if you are not baptized for the mission of your sin, you need to get um, baptized. You need to ask God for mercy. You need to be baptized. Also important, you need the gift of the Holy Ghost. There's so much things that go on in our life, but the Holy Ghost is the one that will comfort you, that will guide you. Actually, it will tell you where to go and where not to go. It will talk to you in your sleep. You know, I pray for that a lot of time, even for my son. I say, God, speak to him in his vision, in his dream. Speak to him. Because children nowadays, their mind is easily taken up by everything around them, you know. We need God. We need about the old time way of church, guys. Yes, people say, oh, the old time way. We want a new way. Young people, when I was growing up, the young people was asking, we need a, 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 the, the young way. We need a, a new way how to do things. But every time they ask a question, I will say, if you go outside and look at the sun, it's the same, yeah? The water is the same. Nothing changed. But young people want everything to be changed around them. Yes, the world will go on. People will make everything. They, they will, um, technology will increase until God come. But God will never change. If he said you should repent and be baptized in his name, that's what you should do. God, that will never change. He said you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's what will happen. You know, tell me who in here... Who, don't love gift. Anybody who don't love gift, put up your hand. Yeah. Everybody who love a gift, put up your hand. Yeah. The Holy Ghost is real, guys, and you can receive it. Yeah. God said he will fill you with the Holy Ghost. That's the Spirit of God coming inside of you. And it's just for you to receive it. I know if I wrap a gift now and give to everybody, they will receive it. It's the same thing with God. You have to just believe, believe and have faith, and receive the Holy Ghost. God bless everybody today. Continue to pray for me and my family. I mean well in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord Jesus. We're going to hear from our brother and sister Green in short as well, please. Give him praise as the scripture said, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Amen. Be thankful unto him. Amen. I just want to sing this song. To God be the glory, Amen. great things he had done. So
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to sing the song, Sweet Hour of Prayer. Sweet Hour of Prayer. Sweet Hour of Prayer. Sweet Hour of Prayer. service to our pastor right now in Jesus name to Pastor Douglas in Jesus name thank you Jesus in the Bible. Yes. One God yes, oh Lord Jesus come now. Yes. Yes. Do you see? And because of their testimonies, 
and the desire they had is because they were ready. Yes. That's true. Yes. That's true. And sorry. And they get um, strength yes. or encouragement. Yes. With those, that's why we read Bible. That's why we sing this song Amen. that God gave them. And the testimony Amen. and the, the desire they had. It's true. For your return. It's true. And um, they believe. Yes. And although they were going such a hard time, yes. I don't think they did baptize in Jesus' name no, and fill with the Holy Ghost. We must get the Holy Ghost. We must. Amen. It's a gift from God. Amen. Somebody was saying to a virgin here, we don't go for Wrigley and buy it, you know. Amen. It's from God. But what I'm saying, those that were before us, they leave a footprint. And because of the, 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 um, the desire yes. they had, yes, and because they the desire in their mind yes. that they got to enter eternal right. life for true. themselves. That is true. Nothing could not put them no. off. That is true. And somebody write it because they read it in the songbook yes. like us. That is true. And they read the Bible, that person. Yes. That's true. And they with such I hate. I hate. With, the, with the testimony they had before this. Israel with such I hasten. I hasten to the place yes. with what yes. with what they read yes. and they get encouraged sister yes. like us yes. because David you know some people take Bible put it on them head and put Psalms yes. the Bible but the Bible can't get they're hoping the Psalms and put you over them head because David said, but what you say? That is true. They said, with what they heard, what they believed, and the desire and how they overcome, yes. and had the mind to be with God. Yes. They said, with that, yes. Yes. I'm going there, but hasten to that place. Yes. Yes. And that person said, they often found relief. That's true. Yes. That is true. Yes. But I found relief too. So we have to realize that they are there to show us that it can be done. It yes. can yes. 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 done. Yes. Because if them done it and have a desire and waiting yes. for judgment, That's right. that is true. now somebody else took it on. We ain't gonna take it on today or take it on. Yes. Praise it. Amen. We're not gonna come and sing while we're gonna look into it. Some of the brethren come all the way, take them so much miles to be here. Yes, 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 take train and bus and taxi yes, and drive. Yes, yes, Jesus bid you here. Yes, yes, and God puts us nearer by his purpose and bring you far. Yes, if God wasn't in your heart, you would never come. But when we come, yes. we need to hear something to let us think. It's true. That's true. It's true. If they had the desire and they are waiting for eternal life, flesh and blood like you and I, and they go through bloody seas, yes. they were despised and they were rejected as well. They were in sorrow and heartaches and pain. And instead of giving somebody, um, asking, say they never found me. They never have no phone. That's the word. It's the word. Hallelujah. We're lucky. They never have no phone, brother. They have God. It's the word. Yes. That's why. That's why David said, God is my refuge and strength. Help. Help. Present help. God. Not my pastor. Not my brethren. Not nobody. God. Somebody, David, say, had not David. Me say, God, help me. You know. David, me say. 
David said, if the Lord will turn my side. May have to look into me. If God wasn't on your side and my side, God Almighty, never help us. We shouldn't vex if somebody rise up against us and I throw a word upon them. We are, we are dirt. Why should we have somebody and show in word? And then we take the Bible, Lord is my shepherd, and the Lord is my lie. God was your strength, you wouldn't complain and tell him Tom the Kahari and wish them bad. They didn't do that. They write it and leave it for strength. That some take it and repeat it like nothing. But remember that if we're going through a hard time, it's no big thing. It's to build us up and make us closer. When we overcome them hard time there, we don't want nobody surfing me. Me not no sorrowful. I'm gonna have yards. Nobody come find me down and suck. If God Almighty, <laughs> if God be the devil or God, you know, because it was them not staying there. Amen. So you never know. God and the devil don't stay there. One. So I let me and devil or me and God. Amen. So nobody business. And I don't busy with you neither. I only pray for you. Amen. And wish God Almighty help you if you're weak. Yes. For the Bible says if you're strong, help the weak. Not yes. if it put them down and talk bad and watch them back. And throw a word like you high. Somebody say, remember where you're from. Yes. Yes. Remember. Yes. So when somebody fall dear, where you did fall, you pick them up. Yes. Remember you said. Yes. Praise it. The word of God say rescue. The hey, the perishing. He said care. He didn't tell me Christian. He didn't tell me my family, husband and wife. He didn't tell me Christian. He said he perished. So anyone we see perishing in sin, getting weak and weak, want to backslide, give up behaving unseemly. And we know we, we pass there, so risk. Care. For the dying in sin. He says, snatch them, no rough and tough, and you have to. Because of some me say, and it has to be done. And God never said that. He says, snatch them in pity. And he said, care for them when they die. Amen. He says, snatch them in pity. From dying, from sin, and the grave. I used to cry. They know that she's not there. When one backslid from back home and we know Jais and them girl in church. I didn't know that we was cry, but I just cry. The backslid and I cry. And even when we live in, in, um, in the 80s of Greenwood Road, they was living with me and so on. And I don't like to know somebody backslide. I cry. I didn't know should we. Stop walk up and don't listen. Keep your seat and pray. This is see you won't cry too. This is serious. This is serious, brethren. Somebody looking into it and you can walk for make them look around. Look into this brethren. For so much our Bible, but a, a man writing by the move by the Holy Ghost, yeah. and some reading Bible to tell you about Bible. Yeah. The Bible say, yeah. what them say? Yeah. Man, Bible, power of God write the Bible, and the, the the testimony in the Bible, the song we sing. Somebody bring through hard time and write it. Yes. Yes. What we have? We don't want to upset one another and run up one another and think so we high and they feel listen. 
It's not like that. He says, snatch them in pity. From sin and the grave. We we'll leave somebody right in our house dying for salvation. And we gone abroad, gone witness. I'm coming at church telling Tom they can hurry off. I'm right in our house. Somebody going to hell. He said, rescue the perish. Care when they die. That means you are alive. That's why you can help somebody. If you know that you're dying, own up. And if you don't ask for help, God will, will show somebody to, to pray for you. God Almighty love you. And he will even let somebody call when you know he speak God. Because even if nobody cared, don't backslide and know you didn't come to them. They never save you. You don't live at them house. And even if they live there, you're paying for it. Make sure. So when you come to Almighty God, you are in business. Amen. Me know I'm in business. That's why I'm telling you this. Because if I come to church, I was checking Mr. Bovey. No, 66 years now. You know me, did you? Mr. Butter. Let me did come to member and pastor and bread. You know what me see for them years there? I would never be in, you wouldn't see me. But I'm glad when God Almighty sends somebody and say, You come to God. Praise God. When you come to God, yes. nothing moves you. Amen. They can talk, they can do, they can even thump, for they thump me, make a thump, big head, thump me. In the church here, this one. They're big head, they vex. But I wasn't frowning and fighting. I still look after them very nice. When God reach your heart. Glory, yes. glory. When God, when God Almighty have you in a hand, or when you want um, backslide, or when you know I'm coming on church, and if they ever come, they better shake them out, you know, and then sit on side of me. Hey, but you see that he cool. And when I'm sitting on side of you, you never remember. Because God is in you. The hope of glory. Praise. It's God that brings us here. It's God in us. While we are here. That we come to give him praise. For ourselves. God bless you today. God strengthen you. God keep you as the apple. The apple is the little baby, you know. Glory. Yes. Glory. And God say, yes. we have a way we don't no touch pastor, you know, mind. But to the trip the virgin. Oh, them there. They bring, them, not, them not officers. And they no lock up no mind. Then I don't strike. But when it come upon the little ones, them, oh, them there. Them all right. Them, it is not like God. God cares for everyone. God loves everybody. Praise Him. And God said, the dying. God said, snatch in pity. Praise God. We need to tell them, oh, Jesus care. Jesus forgive. Jesus deliver. Jesus sanctify. Jesus will bring you up again. Hey, the word of God said, don't laugh after me. Don't rejoice. For do I fall and shout. Rise. Praise. Why? Because when I'm low, he, God Almighty, going to pick me up. It's not a mistake why you're here today. It's because Jesus is here. It's because Jesus loves you. Amen. I know because me hope here, so me no better than you. By the devil in me, Satan. 
our God. And same with you too. The same hell me going if me not live right, you going to you. So you no make no difference. Is what I'm saying. It's the life that we live in. Even if God, them things say God not using you, but make them steady. God using you, you know. When you testify to somebody at work, when you pray, when you give a gift to somebody need help, when you do something good to some people, you don't know it's God using you. You're blessed. When you come in the church and knock the tambourine and somebody giving God, somebody praise God, you're blessed. When you are playing the music and somebody shouting hallelujah, you're double blessing. When you give God glory and praise, when you think that somebody wants to see me at church, that means me not want to go, you know, but somebody looking out for me. There you go. You know you're blessed with that. You have good courage. This is Bible. You can write it. They have good courage. Thank God for brother and sister Green. They've been here already. How much time in the convocation? And thank God for dear brother. He came from very far to be at church. And thank God for all of you that been far and near. God bless. Keep on going to the church where you're going. Or if you don't have one, you can come here. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Leave from here with joy and peace. Yes. Somebody did have it, me wanted to. Yes. When them feel good, brother, and got in there's joy and peace. No others bring it. And full of glory. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Yes. <laughs> because they left with such a joy and peace. And it's full of glory that mean eternal life them see. Ready? And they said they half. I can't explain. Praise him. Because you have to feel him yourself. That's why David said, taste. Taste it and find out. Take peace and me arrange. You tell me sweet, you see. No, tell me sweet, you see. Give me peace. Praise him. David said, taste it. And see. That God is good. Yes. Yes. Blessed is that man or woman that trusts in God. Yes. So when you trust in me, you find out you say. Yes. Want to pray for somebody today? Yes. Come on, somebody. Come we pray with you. Come taste and see what we're talking about. Come, come and get deliverance. No matter how you're heavy. Anytime you're baptized in Jesus' name, you feel light. You bury the old man. No, me never buried the Every day bury the deeds, me going to heaven long time. Every now and then, me have to pray for now and then. Me not talk Bible like other people. I have to look into it for me. Every day bury the deeds, we die and go to heaven. But God give us chance that we can get rid of bit by bit. Amen. Brother Stanley said, bit by bit. Yes. So brother, God bless you. Amen. Sister, God strengthen and keep you. Amen. And give you grace. Amen. But in times like this, if you follow some, draw you down, somebody saying that, somebody, two of them went in the sea. Real. And the other one duck. And she jumped to, to help her out. And she hold her down in the water. Nearly kill her in there. You see what I'm saying? Yes. So sometimes, if you're trying to pull up somebody, if you're not so unbalanced, you better leave them alone. And just pray and leave it there. But when them finish with you, you drown your backslide. So while you are helping somebody, make sure you're stronger than them. God bless you today. God strengthen you. In the name of Jesus. The word of God said prepare. Not for next week, Sunday and in the week. But because the life don't belong to none of us. And you don't have to be old. He said prepare to meet. 
thy God. Are you ready? If judgment come now, I'm writing at the building in a church. And judgment come now. And we hear the trumpet song. Stop chat and listen. Are you me talking, sister? No, let me call out your name. It's serious. You find yourself out there. You need prayer, you. Me not joking, brother. It's serious. You take this thing for a joke. It's not a joke. If a Bible is chop here, they'll shout to you, men are holy for nice. And when you leave from here, you're worse. This is serious. Fight in you to Almighty God. If judgment come, you ready? What we come to church for? We come to change our life that somebody testify, somebody sing a song, somebody raise a chorus or something because something in my life, when you talk it out, me see myself and repent. Amen. Me no go on like say me all right and lie, make it worse. Amen. And come back next week to hear again. Me don't want to be a rep to be it. It don't make sense. This is serious. God said, let us reason. Look into things. When you learn to drive, you have to be careful for your learners. That's why I say learners better than them who pass them tests. Learners better because they want to pass. But when them think they're sober and circle and grounded, they won't. When you're just baptized, you're trying to get there. But something them there already and them stumble you. So we are calling for those who want to be with God. And think when you leave from here. I'm not a preacher. But me tell them we are broad and anywhere we go. Because God Almighty speak to me and say thief. I'm not going to say steal. Because I want their money and they know that. But them have to steal because they don't forget their money. Nobody can pay me. Oh, nobody no hire me. So nobody can fire me. Amen. I may tell you. Why I am. When God Almighty piled me up, there wasn't deal. And when I sit down in my seat and see me, nobody have to find to tell me come a halter, brother. For when we was going to one of them at work, me wasn't pastor. I was going to give him what for. And when I come to church, sit down. Right. And the, the brother came out the way from Brixton somewhere and he come. And when he started to talk about work and say, oh, brother, now you're vain. Now. I didn't want to come out. I get up come out to come out. I'm my business God that. I'm not afraid of him. When me and God a deal, I'm not afraid of nobody. But if God in my heart talking to me, I don't need nobody if you tell me. Because me must know when God talking in my heart. And me don't need him again to come pint me out. When God pinting in my heart and telling me, Alter. So we're going to pray with Amen. you. Amen. Tell God what you need. Amen. Tell him because I did pray for myself. And God filled me with the Holy Ghost. So I mean it. Amen. Tell God exactly what hurt you. What you don't like. Who you don't like. And why they do that. And how and what and where. Amen. Tell him. Don't hide nothing. What come in your heart pray that. And God going to deliver you. He going to. Believe. Amen. Jesus don't want to shout for you tonight. You know, your years old. You don't want to hold it It's true. You don't want to hold it for nice in your years old. I've been there. I know. I'm say about I'm, I'm put on. I never want to know what to do. Me didn't know what to do. I'm just ready to know. And I didn't know what to do. In it, in it brother, see me. Y'all, you and them children, they, them not mix up. No. So when some people talking something in them years old, they say, what? <laughs> so when you come and serving God, well, as I say, we're not serving him. You know what I mean. Yeah, that's what you mean 
For them said they must serve God. Where will you serve God? Even if they go on mission field, you're doing it for yourself. Because you want the star and the gems. God have everything long term. So when God call you, brother, sister, no devil in hell shake you. All when you want to shake you, God. And when God said yes, you can't, you can't say otherwise. That is why we don't quarrel rough and tough with anyone. And things say they have to. When God reached their hearts. But some of we they drag and pull people. I tell them where they have and they have. And them not doing nothing to show you. That's why you have to pray for me. Because I'm not high and mighty. But some of them don't even like to hear this. But blood and fire for them. Amen. God sought them out no and quick. Because God died for the world. Amen. We don't own you. God own you. And anywhere you and I go, God go there with us. And anything we plan to do, God tell us no or yes if it's right. And the devil say it right. And if devil can carry Bible to God, God makes Satan and Satan God quote Bible. So you son, everybody bring Bible to you. you must listen. You must look into what them telling you. Because the devil bring Bible to Almighty God who make him and the Bible. Amen. Much as you and I. So we, we have good courage, somebody. Amen. Be strong in the Lord. Amen. And in the power of God might. Yes. Somebody encouraging somebody. Yes. They never said, take me with you. <laughs> and love me and rub me down. They said, take the name of Jesus yes. with you. Because you are sorrowful. Yes. And what happening to you, my oh. God Almighty, had not been for God in your life. Amen. So they said, take the name of Jesus with you. Amen. Child of sorrow and of woe. Nobody can talk to you. But God. He said a word will joy and comfort give you. That's why David said that word I he did in my heart. Praise him. That anywhere I go, whatever I'm suffering, the world talk to me. Praise him. Praise him. Say so good to have the Savior with you. For you dare not walk alone. You must feel his presence. With you. Child of sorrow, be encouraged, somebody. Going through pain and our takes and woe, but God said, Cheer up. I am with you. Somebody said, God is your refuge. God is your strength. Whatever the trouble you're going through, He's going to bring you. His son said, only trust him. He will save you now. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father God, in your name. Father God, this young man. I was seeing his pain, his sorrow. Whatever he's going to, I don't know. But in your name, Jesus. In your name. Minister to him. Minister to him, God Almighty. But it was said, just as a young and fringe God Almighty, in come as he is now. He come broken. He come with sorrow and pain. He come with grief and Satan have him. But lose him today. Father, you know his name and number. You know his grief and suffering and his loneliness. But thank you that you care. Him. Give him grace to overcome. Bring him out, bring him out, bring him out, bring him out. Rise him up and let him give you glory. Father, as you done for the man in the not there. 
But we went right in the tomb and give them deliverance. Whatever he said, take him out of the tomb. And give him deliverance today. In Jesus' name. I'm asking somebody to pray a prayer right now for all those at the house. Come on, son. Pray a prayer, shout out. Come on, come on. Somebody in the house, somebody down there, anyway, you're there. Pray for them. Anybody? Shout out a prayer for them. Shout out. We don't know who God wants. So I'm not going to Pray. God. God, I pray God that a strong deliverer. Deliver them. God, you know their hearts drive. God. I pray God must be in the Deliver them. Hey, God. Deliver them. Jesus. God, I pray. Deliver them today. Deliver them. Deliver this one. Yes. Heal the body. Heal the mind. Heal the soul. Oh God, it comes to you. In the name. Jesus. Yes. Give them the vision. Hey, God. Yes, God. Jesus. Oh, Lord. In the name. In the name. In the name. The name. Deliver them, deliver them, deliver them, deliver them, deliver them. Let the blessing flow. Let the fire fall. Wash them in your blood. Change their life. Give them the victory. Give them strength. Give them courage. Give them boldness. Be there the shelter. The shield. The hiding place. Forgive them, Lord. They have no other God but you. They have no guard, but you guard them. They not try nothing else, so you are well away. Need no protection but you. In the name of Jesus Christ, they pray for you already. They pray for your son all the time. You're going to believe. God bless somebody. God bless somebody. You're welcome in your father's house. Amen. Yes. You're not no visitor. No, that's true. When we go to church, a church we go. Yes. So when you come, you come to church. Yes. You don't come visit. You come to church. Yes. To give God praise and thanks. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Just to remind you of our schedule on Tuesday, we have service here at 7:30 on Tuesday. Wednesday, we have our prayer meeting here at 7.30. Thursday, we have our Bible study at 7.30. We're back on Sunday for Sunday school at 11 o'clock. Our day worship is at midday, and our evening worship is at 6 p.m. Also, our Thanksgiving service from the 19th to the 21st of this month. So we ask you please to come out and support in Jesus' name. God, take you home safely in Jesus' name. And God bless you. And just to remind you, you're all welcome to come and worship with us. In Jesus' name. God bless you all. Amen. And also, one more thing, brother, sorry. Just to remind you that every Wednesday we have the coffee morning here from 9 o'clock. So please come out in Jesus' name. Amen. Always bring somebody with you. Amen. God bless. And then also, we have a lunch on here every third Saturday from, from 12 o'clock.